Okay, now what I'm going to show you is how to do the moving zone. Okay, this is my layout box. And remember, the layout box is the first thing you must do every single time before you set an isometric. You cannot do anything unless you can create the layout box. So if you haven't watched that video yet, or you cannot do a layout box correctly, please go back and watch that video. If you notice, I've got a nice square on top here. I've got a little bit of air at the top. It's not a problem. A little bit of air there. That's all right. Those look pretty good there. Those seem to be, you know, everything seems to look pretty good on here. This is the two-inch layout box that must start every angle. No matter how it starts, it must start this way. No matter what image that you're doing, you must start with the layout box. This layout box has been measured out. If you haven't seen the video on the layout box or don't know how to do the layout box, for this video, I'm going to show you how to do the moving zone. The moving zone is actually a lot easier than what it appears to be. There's only one measurement that This is the layout box. We're going to start doing the moving zone. Okay, and this is a picture of the layout box, the moving zone with the extraneous lines that you don't need. In this video, in this video we're going to do the moving zone. Very simple. Starting at the very bottom here, all we're going to do is measure up one inch. That's it, one inch. Got my ruler at the very bottom here. I'm just going to give it a size, one inch, and I put a dash, a very small line. Believe it or not, I don't need the ruler anymore. Now what I'm going to do is take my triangle, I'm going to turn it on a 30 degree angle. The base of my triangle always goes on the baseline no matter what I'm doing. And I'm going to start by taking this line, bringing it down. Flip my triangle over, take this line, bring it down. And what I did was I just created the front of the moving zone. Actually, these two lines here. now going to erase what I don't need. I've just created and just bring a line up okay this line right here I'm just gonna bring this line up and I'm gonna follow the image around and see how I do it like from wherever I stop I'm gonna start from there and just keep moving around the image until I get the entire moving zone the base of my triangle is always on my baseline bring it on up, giving a perfectly parallel line. Now how far I brought that up does not make a difference. I'll show you why in just a second. The 
base of my triangle on my baseline. And what I'm going to do is put the base of my triangle on my baseline, and I'm just going to bring down this line here. And if you notice, I actually have a little bit left over, not a problem. Okay, I've now created the inside square of the moving band. going to take this, put it here. I've now created the front of it. Again, base of my triangle is on my baseline. All I did was extend this line back using my triangle. Now what I want to do is I want to bring because this is a cube, this line's going back to the frame, I'm going to bring this line back this way. Base of my triangle is on my baseline, put it where I want it, and if you look, I've created a nice cube at the top of it. Okay, if you kind of see it right now, you can see the front area. And if, if it helps you, Erase the lines that you don't need. Okay, this method will make it a lot easier. And you know that right now that we're not going to need this. We're not going to need this. I'll just tell you right now, we're not going to need the rest of these on that side. We'll look at that in a second. So now, if I look on my... If I look here, I can see that... Okay, I've made, I've done that one inch measurement, come down, come over, come back. I just have to come straight up now. So I do this. I'm going to come straight back. necessary lines. Now you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, I still have this line in here. What happened? Well, I didn't erase it when I made my layout line. If you didn't do it then, do it now. It's only going to make things more complicated. Okay? Same with the other lines that you don't need. If you don't need them, erase them. First of all, it's wrong. Second of all, it just is more confusing. Now, believe it or not, this is almost done. What I want to do is I want to make a line that is parallel with this line in this corner. And you can see where I just made this corner right here. I'm going to put my pencil there. Put the base of my triangle on my baseline. Again, the base of my triangle is always on my baseline. It's always nice and level on my baseline. Notice that line has been created. Okay. And which line does it look like we don't need anymore? Probably this line right here. So let's get rid of that. And what line do we need? Is the corner here that comes down. Put my pencil right where I want to start it. Bring it on down, and if I've done this correctly, I've done all these correctly, I should meet up right at the bottom here. And if you notice, I still have a little bit of line left over. Okay, what do we do? Let's erase it. Okay, this is why we do it in pencil. All right, and if you look, we can see we have the front here, the front here, the top here top here, the side here, and the side here. And that completes the moving band.